I'll always remember one of the first times I just moved house, and uh, so I'd never actually, I'd never left from the house. To, we were meeting, we'd go to a hotel the night before, and uh, so I've, this is the first time I've left from the new house to get, and we had to be at Old Trafford say at half six. Mm-hmm. So all right, I'm thinking I will leave at six. Plenty of time. Plenty of time, you know. There'll be no. No dramas, but obviously it's Friday evening. There's a bit more work traffic. There's a bit more whatever else. So I'm like, I'm starting to starting to sweat, sweat a little bit here, you know. But thankfully, I was thinking in my head, the manager wasn't going to be there. He was going to meet us at the hotel. Yeah. So I'm like, and I'm still barely in the first team type of thing, you know. So trying to put the foot down, staying within the speed limit, of course. So I get the next thing. It's like six six twenty eight. I'm like I'm thinking this is Miles getting away. this is getting this is getting <laughs> close here. So literally it's kinda six thirty and I'm kinda pulling in type of thing. Like the bus is still there, you know, like pure relief. Next thing I can see the bus moving. <laughs> right, I've not parked the car yet. I'm nearly <laughs> I'm nearly in. And it's like bus is gone. So I can see Roy and a few obviously the senior players. I'm thinking well, they've done me here, so I'm panicking, thinking, <laughs> will I drive the car back? We were staying actually in in all of Liège at the time, uh, so I'm thinking, what am I going to do here? Quick little panic, thinking, right, I'll leave the car and I'll get a taxi, and I'll still get to the hotel if you know what I mean yeah. in time. So the manager will think, oh, but obviously Roy was Roy was teaching me a bit of a lesson here, and it even to be fair, it was look, it was my own fault. I should have known. Mm-hmm. Prepared better in the sense of yeah. knowing the distance fr- from the house, but the next day as well, I think we played. I'm trying to remember the game we were playing, but obviously Roy mentioned it to me again, and I'm kind of like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> so basically, thought, he'd seen you driving in, but he didn't stop the bus. Yeah, it, no, which is like no, no. This is this is a lesson. Yeah, but it was like obviously my own fault and you hold your hands up type of thing but you're, I was thinking I was more worried about the boss the next thing obviously <laughs> really? the senior lads on the senior lads were like ah, no we teach you a lesson Shazy but no that's that's the way it was and um, it, look it, it it served me well it served me well you know that those things you have to you have to be on top of there's no time like the present our producers just reminded me of a photograph <sighs> which has been going around for a few years oh look at that Boy band. <laughs> What's astonishing is how badly everything fits. There's not what? a single player sta- in one fit? item of clothing that fits. Yeah, yeah, he said it doesn't fit. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah, like nothing, nothing fits in that image. Some of them fit now, though. We'll do that a, few, a few years later. Um, Don't that was, a, that was a, that leather jacket. The, <laughs> that's uh, going back to the the bond and the the morale around the group in terms of that was a uh, Christmas lunch yeah shall we say that turns into um, carnage yeah <laughs> it turns into a good day yeah. it turns into a good day and um, look it was, it was it's incredible how often it, it, it pops up th- that picture as much as maybe people try to delete it and get rid of it and, <laughs> but no look it was a bit of team one and the manager obviously encouraged it as much as we could at the right times and uh Mm. Thankfully, we've all uh, matured and got much better <laughs> clothes and cl- <laughs> on board. Helen mentioned the 2002-2003 season. Obviously, great. We won the Premier League. But you also had one of your most famous moments when you let Meg Luis Figo. <laughs> yeah, look, it, it, it's crazy that the amount of people that still obviously talk about mm-hmm. it and mention it in the sense of um, it was just one of them, seriously, one of them things. Did um, you show it? <laughs> it's pure shock I think um, it, the, the game itself the, because obviously what a player Figo was mm-hmm. um, it, it, it was weird because obviously when you're left back the scenario for me was easier coming back into the right mm-hmm. foot obviously I'm I mean, nat- naturally right, right footed but thankfully say when I did it I was actually just able to keep the ball as well and uh, keep possession but uh, no look I would have gladly Figo not make me a hundred times and we'd won the game if you know what I mean yeah, the yeah. fact that they went and went and uh, knocked us out was was annoying because we felt I'll always remember before the game the manager um, saying afterwards actually because I think that night it was myself Rio Wes it might have been Mikel I think who'd started in the back four and he'd said about our ages and the level you need to get to 
to kind of uh, be dominant in Europe and understand European football the latter mm-hmm. stages and stuff like that because they'd kind of they they done us lesson, yeah, yeah they'd done us a little bit so it, it kind of it, it took a while to get there but uh, we we, we kind of got there in the end going to skip ahead slightly to another one of your famous goals Arsenal and a beautiful little chip but the question I want to ask is about the celebration because there's sort <laughs> of two there's the moment you stand around like Eric Cantona looking but the, like, cam- the cameraman doesn't doesn't show that is in the sense of you know what I mean. He's just showing me shocked face, and it was yeah, yeah, shocked. I think he was shocked. The cameraman was shocked. He was going, "Hold on a minute!" And you sort of see him compose and just take it in for a few moments, and then you run around like a schoolboy. Yeah, because it was like the lads. It was late in the game. Yeah, and I, I, they must have thought, "Ah, oh, th- thankfully the game's done now. That's the fourth goal," and they probably thought, "Shades, he's too far away. I, I just leave him, leave him <laughs> off there." And then I was like. I'm, oh, I'm enjoying this I'm trying to get my arms out like that and then I go, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to run off here and oh think, so they were chasing you Wes, no Wes collars me in the end I think I'm thinking right I'll create a bit of a celebration here I'll start running and, um, but over the years he say we celebrate not that I've scored too many I've scored some say important ones in that yeah. sense but I needed to work on the celebration I, I would agree with that but, but it, sort of, it, was, it just felt sort of like just pick one <laughs> I felt like there was two in two, that moment yeah, yeah I yeah. know but I think it was just probably the elation of actually ah, that was a good goal yeah. really good goal let's enjoy it a bit more well it created a great <laughs> moment people are still talking about it no exactly um, That because that game in particular obviously is still highlighted mm-hmm. so much and to be able to finish finish it off I remember uh, when the camera even fans to the bench they're all in like, shock they're, <laughs> 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 they're buzzing they're buzzing so much because it was just such a tense mm-hmm. tense evening you know and to to finish it off like that was, was it was a beautiful brilliant. goal as well wasn't yeah, it yeah it was brilliant and it, it was weird I'm sure a few weeks before that in training I'd done it now whether I'd done it intensely or not <laughs> no we were fi- we were doing some finishing and I had actually done a, a chip like that it would have been with my right foot not not my left so um, that's where all that practice paid off. There you go. Amazing. Yeah, any kids See? out there listening to that? There you go. There you go. And a last minute winner at Anfield in front of the cop. Yeah, look, that was the significance of that was huge in the sense that we were down to ten mm-hmm. men. Scolzi decided to give someone a little little, ba- little backhand, a little <laughs> yeah. hook, and uh, you just got the feeling. Look, when you know uh, Ronaldo was taking the free kick. In the sense, you know, we knew what he was doing with his free kicks out wide. Yeah. He was putting in a certain delivery that was, it was, he was going for goal yeah, a lot yeah, of the time. Yeah. But he was going for that one where it was going to be difficult for the keeper. And uh, thankfully, I was able to tuck it away nicely and then enjoy the celebrations afterwards. It was uh, tuck it away. You nearly missed it. A roof of the net. Yeah, exactly. Had to make sure, from, maybe. from where? Five yards. <laughs> yeah. The keeper's diving in front Another of me. Yard out. You'd have been over. <laughs> No, thankfully, thankfully he hit the roof of the net and it was... Uh, Did the manager say anything to you after that? Ah, no, look, he was he, he was buzzing. He was buzzing, you know, because he knew it was... I'm trying to think of the month, what month we were in. Was it April or March? Uh, but it was we, late in the season. Yeah, it was late yeah, in the yeah, season yeah. and yeah. it was because how significant it was in the, I'd say, all my mates back home, <laughs> over half would be, say, it's obviously split you know yeah. at Liverpool type of thing so some grief then I had the messages I was getting through <laughs> on my phone in the sense of I'm not talking to you ever again Brilliant. and for some of them I was glad but <laughs> <laughs> no look it was it's amazing and obviously out, yeah. the, the games between United and Liverpool over the years have been incredible so to get the winner in one of them was brilliant uh, we should talk about your appearance in goal yeah look it was it was baffling really because um, Rio was fairly certain he was going to get the get the nod to go in goal, you know. And I think it might have been actually Gaz Nev in the end actually said no, Shazy, Shazy be a better option, I think. And I said, look, I do it obviously Gaelic football growing up. Um, wouldn't shouldn't wasn't going to be an issue, kind of. Did no. you have this conversation on the pitch? Listen, I've been, I've done Gaelic football. <laughs> not not really, no. <laughs> no. I was kind of thinking, no, look. I might have actually said it, but I think the lads would have been like, what? <laughs> what, <laughs> kind of shit. what was that for? Yeah. <laughs> a problem like this with my hand in the background going, I, I, I played a bit of Gaelic football. Um, but actually the weird bit then was, because you look back, you're always sent different things. I come out for a cross and it was like, 
it, the worst attempt at catching, <laughs> catching it. I got contact on it, but I was thinking to me, I'll catch this. And in the last minute, I thought, no, I'll punch. And I f- <laughs> absolutely flapped at it. But um, thankfully, I kept a clean sheet. Yeah, that was a big thing. Yeah, look, one on one save with Robbie Keane. That was it. And we were going on international duty as well after that. And Robbie wasn't yeah. happy, like, because he was obviously hungry for goals. Mm-hmm. And look, people obviously forget, maybe forget a little bit the scoreline <laughs> at the time. Mm-hmm. I think we were 4 0 up, so yeah. <laughs> there wasn't yeah. too much pressure. But the n- most nerve wracking thing was a goal kick. Mm-hmm. What? And Why? It, just turning back, and you've obviously all the Tottenham fans <laughs> they're saying nice, uh, nice things about you, and then you're just going to kick the ball. It was, it was strange, but um, good, good experience. But I, I don't think I could have been a keeper. I can safely say that. <laughs> Gives you a n- unique perspective as a coach, though, I suppose. Yeah, it does, and at least I'm able to say. Uh, 100% uh, clean sheet record yeah. in, in the Premier League as well not not too many keepers have that 